You know, there's a lot of college football awards and there's a, there's a lot of accolades out there and, and, and they get handed out pretty freely. I think this, this award, because it was what it means um, in terms of its, its educational mission, what it means for a, a senior player, uh, what it means to, to, to embody and to, to represent what, what, what Johnny Unitas embodied, I think um, is what to me stands out about this award, that it, it is, it's more than just the flash on the field. It's, it's the kind of character, human being that, that plays the position. It's not just a trophy for football players. It's, it's about the character of the people, the integrity of the people, the values that they stand for. I hope it means a lot to the recipients. Um, it uh, means a lot to me. Um, it, it's uh, based on character, teamwork, sportsmanship, values, morals, um, and, and the fact that they, they, in addition to playing football on the field, they, they give back off the field, and that's extremely important to us. Yeah, the first time I heard of Johnny Unitas was from my grandfather. He was actually my grandfather's favorite player. Um, so when I won this award, he was, you know, really excited for me, and uh, you know, I think it's just another, you know, really special moment for me and my family. You know, I was the the, the first honoree, uh, the first winner of the, of the Golden Arm Award in 1987, and you know, it's hard to put into words what it means to be a quarterback who who saw Johnny Unitas as a kid, um, and and had a dad who was at one of his games and uh, and was a fan. Uh, to be able to meet him uh, and win the award, his, the first award in his name, was a tremendous honor and one that, I, you know, it's one of those things that you get to take with you to your grave and think that you had a special moment in, in, in life. I remember the night that I, we were in Louisville, the night that I won the award and I went to the award with the name Johnny Unitas and again, having, being that age in, in 1987, I remember my father was at that game in Yankee Stadium and my father remembered Johnny United, so to have a chance to meet him and to sit with him, you talked about meeting Marino and talking to Danny Marino, it's the same thing, to meet that guy who's, who's a legend in your game. And, and again, this was pre-ESPN and, 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 and cable television and 24-hour news and social media, so Johnny United, to be that kind of player, you had to be a legend every single day. You couldn't be a legend just because you had a great game in prime time. You had to be it in every single part of your life. So when I had a chance to meet him, I was so excited to sit next to him at the dinner and we're watching my highlights on the, on the screen and I can see him, you know, he had the buzz cut. I just remembered him as the buzz cut and the high tops and the, and the you know, the old staunchy white guy with the strong jaws that you see right there. <laughs> and he's sitting there next to me and we're watching the film and he's watching my highlights. I can see him, he goes, well, you, well, you ran the ball a lot. And I felt like I disappointed him a little bit. <laughs> and I can imagine him looking at the game today. Because at that time, I was doing freeze option, coming down the line, backing off, throwing the ball, and sprinting out. And it was all by design, but to his, his mind, it was like crazy. But the one thing that I knew when we started talking that makes a great quarterback is character and preparation. And that is the, 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 the hallmark of leadership. Because if your teammates believe in you because they watch you prepare, if your teammates believe in you because they know when the chip's down you're gonna make the right decisions, and your teammates believe in you because the kind of person you are, when you step off the field, they'll follow you. And that's how you win a championship. And we have a young man here today who embodies that. Yeah, I would say looking at the way, you know, Mr. United's played the game, just his leadership and how he attacked every day was something I really want to embody. So. Um, you know, it means the world to me to, to win this award knowing, you know, all that comes with it and it's something that I want to continue in the next step of my career. We established the award in 1987 when my father was alive. And, and, and you know, my father was like, you know, ah, whatever, you know. <laughs> but, you know, we, we thought it's important that people recognize what my father was all about because my father really wasn't an extrovert, you know. Um, quarterbacks tend to be aloof, right? They keep things inside. But I know how great my father was, but he would never admit it. So. It's just important for me to continue it. The tour of Baltimore today was awesome. Went to uh, the Ravens Stadium and saw Mr. United's statue out front. Um, got a chance to enjoy that with my family, get some pictures. Then went to the Babe Ruth Museum, which is really um, all athletes from the Baltimore area. Um, have a lot of artifacts and old things that they sent back and they kind of preserved and seeing the old helmets and couldn't believe, <laughs> couldn't imagine playing football in those helmets and those pads. So. Um, it really an incredible day. I really enjoyed it. Um, something I'll remember, you know, for a lifetime here. I, I really do think that, that the winner has to define and 
pay homage to the legacy of Johnny Unitas. I think those of us who know his history as a player, uh, who are old enough of a certain vintage, as we say, uh, those of us who may you know, come from Baltimore, come from this area and remember the man he was, how humble he was, how accessible he was, uh, I think those are the, are, are the characteristics um, that a player who, who wins his award should, should, should embody. Kenny Pickett is the first Panther to win the Golden Arm uh, as, as a Golden Arm recipient and a Heisman finalist. The six foot three, 220 pound hails from Oakhurst, New Jersey. Kenny, through 13 games, has completed 67 percent of his passes for 4,319 yards, 47 TDs, including his five rushing scores. That's important to me, Kenny, because my father really never rushed a lot. So. <laughs> Uh, he was also the ACC Player of the Year, just of winning many, many honors more, uh, with more to come. There's more to Kenny Pickett and his football exploits, is what he does off the field, as, and we commend him for his efforts and for those who, who he helps that are less fortunate than he is. This is something my father felt very passionate about, so keep up the good work, Kenny. Thank you. If you look at Kenny Pickett's numbers alone, He's worthy not just of this award, but any award in college football. I mean, his, his numbers would just speak for themselves. They just jump off the page. 47 touchdowns against seven interceptions. And then you see the records of, of Dan Marino, the records that have stood for, for more, more than 30 years, 35 years. Uh, Kenny Pickett was playing football this year at a very, very high level. But I remember thinking that he looked more prepared than any quarterback I had seen that day. And again, I can't, I can't tell you the exact game, uh, but I remember at the end of the day thinking to myself, he was the best prepared quarterback I saw play college football that day. And when you talk about the Johnny Unitas Award, and, and, and I hear John talk about character, you know, and that's, that's what you read about when you talk about this award. You know, you could not have picked a better young man than Kenny Pickett, okay? Because his story starts with trust and loyalty. And what other, what other things do we need in this world is trust and loyalty. So he's committed to us. Our quarterback coach is gone. Our offense coordinator is gone. There's no, he's coming to Pitt. We've got no offense coordinator. We've got no quarterback coach, okay? You talk about, you have trust. Now, again, I thank again, Ken and Casey, you talk about trust and loyalty. He had it. He had integrity. Uh, and he stuck with it. And, and there was a trust between him and, him and me. And I said, listen, we're going to find a guy and you're going to have, you're going to be part of the process uh, to find that guy. So to me, that's the first I think about is in this game, it's about trust. We, you know, we've trusted Kenny with every snap. I mean, you think about when he sits back there at that, in that shotgun or goes under center, the ball is touching Kenny Pickett's his hands every single down. That's a guy you trust. We're very, very proud to say we have nine former winners still competing in the NFL today. Soon to add number 10. Right, Kenny? Okay. Candidates for the Golden Arm Award are judged not only for their athletic achievements, but also for their character, their sportsmanship, their integrity, their scholarship, uh, scholastic ach uh, achievements, teamwork, leadership, and, and tr Kenny truly leads by example, and he's a true leader. Listen, all the guys that were, were the, the finalists, they all were worthy of the award. Um, I just think Kenny um, stood out. You know, he was hurt last year. He came back strong. Um, you could tell his team was synced all year long. And I think he just a, he's a true leader, and, and, he, and he didn't back down. If he was hurt, he went back in. So um, that's the kind of grit that my father had, and I, and I think I see it more in, in, in Kenny now, and, and um, I think it's cool. So I, I watch them all, I think they all did a great job, it, but again, at the end of the day, right, it's only one winner, so, and Kenny's deserving of it. You know, a lot, a lot goes on behind the scenes, you know, everyone only sees the, the 13 games of the season or 12 games of the season, whatever you may have, um, you know, but th there's a lot of time spent off the field of, you know, building those qualities that this award embodies, and, and um, you know, I think all those qualities off the field has helped me more on the field than all the physical traits, and all the workouts, the training, um, you know, all those characteristics has helped me become the best person, the best leader that I possibly can be. And that all started with my family, so thank you. It was 33 years after Johnny Unitas graduated from, from Louisville that I won the award. It's been 34 years since. And so for Johnny Unitas to watch me play doing the freeze option and coming off the freeze option and throwing the ball down the field to now watching where quarterbacks don't necessarily call their own plays, and, and they don't huddle and they're in the shotgun and there's all this read option stuff. The game has changed dramatically. I don't think that Johnny Unitas could watch a game today and recognize it as the same game that he played and the same control of the position of quarterback that he played. But the one thing that is the same is leadership on the field, the ability to make decisions before the snap 
and the ability to make the right decisions after the snap of the football. And I think as much as the game has changed, in so many ways it doesn't look the same, but in so many ways the position of quarterback still has to have those important intangibles. And I think Kenny Pickett, in, in that regard, is the same quarterback as Johnny Unitas. It's very special. I mean, th first, I think it's special to have a full season with fans and my family and friends who are able to come watch. And now to have this night with, you know, my parents here, my girlfriend here, um, you know, incredibly special night with all the hard work that, that I put in and, um, you know, really be able to enjoy it with my family. You know, I think uh, everyone asks, you know, what does it mean to be up for all these awards? And I try to sit there and think about it, but it's just surreal to me. I can't, can't put it into words just the besides the fact that I'm extremely grateful. So thank you. Johnny Unitas was the first to deploy the two-minute drill. A.O. Smith was the first to develop the glass line steel tank. Johnny Unitas was the first to play 47 consecutive games with at least one touchdown. A.O. Smith was the first to launch a commercial water heater with a helical heat exchanger to deliver maximum hot water at the lowest possible cost. Johnny Unitas was the first to play four consecutive games with a 120 passer rating. A.O. Smith was the first to launch a truly comprehensive high efficiency product line featuring standard technologies, tankless, heat pump, and solar. Good things happen when two pioneering innovative spirits come together. A.O. Smith is proud to sponsor the Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award.